Uh, but think there's another horse that, I mean, you're free to respond to John's point as well, but there's another horse that you uh, focused on in particular, who you think that probably doesn't belong in the Derby. And initially the trainer said he wasn't going, but now it seems like there's pressure from the owner if you want to take it from there. Yeah, I endlessly, the the winner of the Jeff Ruby stakes uh, at Turfway recently, impressive winner, a horse that has raced exclusively on grass and synthetics. Uh, a horse that I think is arguably bred more to be a grass horse than a dirt horse. And most importantly of all of the the information that we have, all of the the variables, uh, clearly his trainer, Mike McCarthy, who right after the the Jeff Ruby was was run, said we're looking at the American turf stakes at, at Churchill on the undercard of the Derby. Uh, his, his effort was a really solid one, but, quote, I think his best days down the road are on turf. And then a week later, yesterday, um, things have changed because the owners, the uh, uh, John uh, Ammerman and perhaps his brother, um, well, MacArthur was quoted as saying, we're going to go ahead and see what happens here for the next few weeks. Uh, the owner would like to keep all of his options open. Um, Mr. Ammerman, this is an interesting phrasing, I think. Mr. A I'm quoting uh, McCarthy. Mr. Ammerman wants to be very open-minded about it and feels that there is an opportunity out there. Are we leaning toward the Derby? The answer is yes. He went on to say, quote, his works, the horse's works on the dirt have been very workmanlike. <laughs> They've been decent. That, that means decent. slow. That means slow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like workmanlike, right. Workmanlike. Workmanlike is not, yes, it's not a... a it's a, it's, a, it's a, not one you want to be called by, by your by your partner or spouse. Your 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 approach to fill in the blank was workmanlike. It was real. Yeah. So look, <laughs> uh, I, I don't want to be too harsh here. There always is a possibility that a horse like this, bec because... High class horses are the most likely of all race horses to overcome difficult obstacles. You know, they typically have a certain athleticism, and uh, many of them uh, uh, have the sort of uh, heart that that allows them to overcome difficult obstacles. Maybe endlessly will be one of those horses. I cannot say with certainty that he couldn't win the race. But what I can say with certainty is that all of the available information suggests that he's going to prove best on different surfaces, on grass and synthetic surfaces, and that if that information is informing us accurately, and usually it does when you have this kind of information, right. uh, then there is an additional risk that something could go wrong. I'm not predicting anything like that. And I would be very sad if that happened, obviously. But if a horse doesn't handle a surface well, it's like a dirt horse on an, on an off track and it doesn't like off tracks, they're more likely to injure themselves right. on a type of track that they're struggling over. So mm -hmm. there is mm -hmm. that aspect to this as well. As well. Right. And right. so, uh, yes, uh, of course, it's the Ammerman's horse and they can do what they like. But as I mentioned in the post that I wrote yesterday, um, there certainly is a history of some trainers. I'm not being critical of, of McCarthy, who is not really at that stage yet. Um, but, you know, the, Charlie Whittingham ran very few horses in the Derby. Uh, right. Suge, uh, Graham Motion, Christophe Clement, Richard Mandela, Bill Mott, these trainers... Uh, you know, with rare exceptions, are not going to run a horse in, in, in the Derby if they really feel that it's the wrong thing to do for the horse. And right. I'm, you know, I'm just sad that it takes that level of stature to be able to, uh, to do that. The vast majority of trainers are either under so much pressure. Look, the Ammermans are very important owners. I don't blame McCarthy at all. For mm -hmm. yielding, what else can he do if he wants to keep the owners right? Right. Um, but uh, I still think that it's a dubious. If they choose to go, it will be a dubious right. decision. 
Well, McCarthy, McCarthy had a choice, Tony, in my, in my estimation, because if he really didn't want the horse to run anything other than turf, then he sh- there were a lot of other options for him other than to bring him to the Jeff Ruby stake. It, 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 it's almost like it's, it's self-fulfilling prophecy. If he really thought the horse was just a turf horse, and I'm not, I'm not arguing either way, but if he really thought the horse was just a turf horse, then keep him on the turf. There's a great series at Gulfstream. There's a great series at Keeneland and at Churchill for him to be able to make a lot of money um, in graded stake races with his horse endlessly as as the favorite on the turf. So I, I think the idea was that they tried him on the on the on the tapita because, you know, at the back of their minds, whether it was the owner or the trainer, they they knew this was going to be the, the end result if he won on the tapita. I think the bigger question is, why is the Jeff Ruby stake and the uh, and and the uh, Bataglia? Even points. Why do they even have Derby points when no turf races in the in the United States have have points for the you know for those races? So so it, it's like, and I think this goes back to what Joe and I were talking about before in the past about all the graded stake races that were increased, that were upgraded and, and downgraded, and not one graded stake race in in Kentucky was downgraded. Um, and and I think there's such a contingency anyway. There's another argument about contingency about why it's so important to have. Point races in Kentucky, um, you know, it, these, in my opinion, these turf way races should not have derby points assigned to them because you're asking a horse to do something completely different when they go from the tapita to the dirt and they're keeping points. It doesn't matter that, that I'm that I'm on the outside looking in or inside looking out as far as Hades, but they really shouldn't be taking the places of other horses that have competed and succeeded on the dirt when these horses are unknown, especially endlessly is unknown on the dirt. He's never run on it, but he's run even better numbers on the turf. I'm sorry to interrupt. It was just. No, it's no, it's no problem. And I, and I agree with you. I agree with you completely. That's part of the reason that I thought that the uh, synthetic uh, experiment at Keeneland was likely to fail is because mm-hmm. bluegrass, which has been such a, you know, historically important uh, three-year-old race that 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 it was going to degrade that you know which it did even though there were you know some horses that ran well in the Derby out of that bluegrass on synthetic but right. I, I I agree with you completely uh, Joe you have some thoughts yeah and no, I mean I don't feel that strongly about it I think John like you know like John said or didn't say having a horse that's on the cusp of the Derby probably influences your feelings a little bit there, but he has, you, you have been, you haven't beaten that drum for a little while. I've been while, pretty so. consistent though with that. I got yeah, you. Yeah. yeah. I, I got you, but it does, yep. it, it would behoove you for that not to have points, <laughs> um, especially if endlessly decides to go. Right. Um, yeah. I just, I, I don't feel that strongly about it. It's, it have, it's two races. They have produced a Derby winner before. I know it was a long time ago in animal kingdom, but it's, I don't think it's, in, inconceivable that a horse comes out of that race and this and runs well. Didn't Rich Strike? I feel like Rich Strike ran in one of those races and then won the Derby at, at five million to one. 